Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Priyanka. Hope everyone is doing great. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about the three new residency pathways which have been introduced recently by New Zealand Immigration. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. So the three new residency pathways are green list straight to residency, green list work to residence and highly skilled. So we'll discuss about the each pathway in detail. Uh, so for these three residency pathways, there are some general requirements with the applicant should meet. So the first is the age should be uh, 55 years and younger than that. So the age should not exceed more than 55 years. Also the candidate should meet the skilled migrant English requirements, which is the IELTS score and uh, qualification. So the candidate should meet the health and character requirements. Also, the candidate should hold a job or should have a offer letter from one of the accredited employers in New Zealand and the occupation should list in the green list. So what is green list? Green list is a list of highly skilled jobs which are in huge demand in New Zealand and also New Zealand is continuously looking for uh, employ employees to work in those occupations. So the green list is divided into two tiers, tier one and tier two. In tier one, we have jobs mainly in IT field, construction, health and medical sciences, and also trade related jobs. And in tier two, we have agriculture jobs, trade and also health and uh, medical related jobs. So here is the green list, uh, which has list of occupations, which are highly in demand. And if you're working in any of these occupations, you will be eligible to apply for residency in one of the three pathways. So in tier one, we have jobs related to construction, electrical engineer, mechanical engineering, health and medical sciences, information technology, and also trade related jobs. And in tier two, we have teaching jobs, health related and medical related jobs and dairy farmers, electrical engineering jobs. So coming to the first pathway, which is straight to residency, this is also called fast track residency. So if you're working or hold a job from one of the accredited employers in New Zealand, and if your job is listed in tier one list of the green list, and if you meet the minimum requirements listed on the occupation, you will be eligible to apply for residency straight away. The job should be a full-time job, which is 30 hours or more than that. And it should be a permanent job or a, or a 12 month fixed term contract. And if you meet all these criteria, you can apply for residency from September 5th. So the coming to the next pathway, which is work to residency. So if you're working or holding an offer letter from accredited employer in New Zealand, and if your occupation is listed in the tier two of green list, and if you meet the minimum requirements listed on the occupation, you will be eligible to apply for residency after working two years in the same occupation. So which is 24 months. And after 24 months, you will be eligible to apply for residency. Next, uh, so the next pathway is highly paid. So this pathway is only for people who are earning twice the median wage so currently the median wage is 27 dollar per hour so twice the median wage is 55 dollar per hour so if you are earning more than 55 dollar per hour so we'll, you will be eligible to apply for residency in this category so hope you guys got an idea about the three new residency pathways in my coming video i'm going to talk about the green list in detail and also the new immigration rules for post-study work visa so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and follow for more updates thank you